Hi everyone. I'm just uh, replying to Jamie's tweet. Um, I think Jamie's tweets are on private, but he basically was just saying like, how does anyone who works have time to do anything? And it's so true. And I was just gonna reply and be like, how do you do anything when you work and also have a family, like have kids? How do you have kids and work and have hobbies? And someone that always comes to mind to me is like Eddie. Like Eddie has a family, he works, he does YouTube stuff. Eddie's crazy, I have so much respect for him. Um, I don't know how he does all that stuff, but yeah, what a fun way to start the stream. What a weird way to start the stream, but um, you know, th there you go. Um, that was just on my mind because I was literally just typing out a response to Jamie's tweet. <laughs> um, because I genuinely, it, it does baffle me like how people can have time to have children. Um, it's one of the reasons that I don't know how I can ever have a child because Sora in himself is enough. Like that, it, he is a dog and I feel like he is a big responsibility and he takes up a lot of my time. Um, and I, I, I was like, I, I don't know, like, I, I really don't know. It, it's crazy to imagine having children because they are such a huge responsibility. How do you have time for literally anything? Because like maternity leave, like that's that's his own thing. At least then you're full time to dedicate to that child. And I bet that time is extremely stressful. But how do you work and have child? How? Anyway, <laughs> hello everybody. Hi Andrew, another day, another time. Twitch refuses to give me a notification. You know, Twitch, um, I'm getting the feeling. Twitch isn't very good at giving notifications. Um, but Discord is um, very reliable. Our little Discord bot is a very good Discord bot, so I highly recommend him. Um, if you want notifications, uh, which I'm pretty sure you're in the Discord, so maybe. Uh, but then again, I bet you get so many pings on Discord that like also Discord isn't a good option for a lot of people. So the answer is be on Twitch. 24 7 that is the only way <laughs> um but hello lux hello contador pentrosatana um how you doing uh hello nikith and flash how are you guys i'm on twitch 24 7 are you actually i feel like twitch is pretty handy to just have in the background like if i'm not doing anything or like if i am doing something rather um but it's like not something i need to pay like full attention to i can kind of watch a stream kind of do something in the background or the opposite i can kind of like be working and then have a twitch stream in the background um it's just like a podcast you know it's pretty chill um my friend, he works as a kid and goes to school for being an airplane pilot. Dang, I don't know how he does it all, plus hobbies like skateboarding and gaming. He loves being busy. Hey, if he loves being busy, it sounds like he must love his life. Um, <clears throat> I'm drinking a coffee and it's seeming to um, <coughs> be blocking up my throat. <coughs> I'm just gonna have a quick drink. Um, sorry, almost died. Um, yeah, having, um, having so much going on for me is not m where I thrive. I, I personally enjoy nothingness. Um, but I, I love that for him if he enjoys having lots of things going on. Um, but that's, that's wild. Um, Jamie, I was just gonna reply to your tweet. I'm gonna press send now, but I just started the stream talking about it because I was typing it out. Um, and then I decided to just like start the stream. Um, <clears throat> but I feel like I my like, I think I said this the other day on stream, didn't I? Um, but like when you work, I feel like the, you, you have to, you, you can have a hobby outside of work. But you can only have one. I feel like you cannot have multiple. Like there's two options. You either get a healthy amount of sleep you work and then you have like one consistent hobby that you do and if that hobby is gaming which it is for most of us here um for me it's like streaming that's it that's your hobby you don't have enough time for anything else and i i think people who do must not sleep they mustn't because i sleep a lot and before i know it i literally have no t like no time like literally on days like today, like weekdays are, I literally work, stream, sleep, work, stream, sleep. That is what I do on weekdays. And on the weekdays that I don't stream, 
I do the shopping and maybe some chores or I'll just watch a bit of TV. Um, so like I will have a little bit of chill out time. Um, but like if I want to actually do a hobby, like that hobby is streaming for me. I feel like you don't have, there is no time. Um, maybe, maybe you'll adjust to it, Jamie. Like the, you'll adjust to the, 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 how tiring it is. But like, it is tiring and I mean, maybe, I mean, if you're like me, Maybe we're one in the same and you won't adjust to it and you will be constantly exhausted like I am. I hope I hope that I don't hope that for you. Maybe maybe just maybe you will adjust to it. I mean it is it is a lot to go from not working to working like full time. Like that's it's a big jump. Um, and getting up early. You get up very early, don't you? So I don't envy like a 7 a.m. or 6.45 start, whatever it was you said. That's wild. Um, I don't sleep. Yeah, well, that's, um, that's, that can't be good. It can't be good. I mean, I, I feel like people do sleep like six hours a night and that probably for some people is okay. For me, I would die. I would die. But then again, I'd probably not be much better off than I am now. Like the way I am now, I'm probably not much better than if I was on six hours sleep consistently. I just enjoy the feeling of sleep and I kind of feel like I don't have enough energy to do anything anyway. So I may as well just sleep because that's the only thing I want to do. Like there are days where I'll like want to get up and do something and I'll have this plan to do it and I will get there and I'll be so hyped. Like I love shopping, right? And I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna like get up at a good time. And I'm gonna like have a really fun day out shopping. Like I love shopping by myself. I love doing stuff by myself. I love it. I just fucking vibe with it. Um, and I will have this whole day planned out. And sometimes that is enough to motivate me to get up. Um, even when I would love to sleep more, but sometimes I will genuinely just like be in bed now, but like Do I even want to go badly enough? That I would actually get up right now and I just don't sometimes I will genuinely just sleep instead of doing this thing that I really enjoy doing um, Which is really miserable. I want everybody to have their own separate discord But also just ping me if it's something I care about because I can't keep up mm, That's tough. I wish maybe you can you turn off certain discords I think you can, but I don't know if you can turn off the- uh, it... Can you? I don't know if it works like that. I don't know. I'm, there must be a way that you can customize what you get notified for. I don't know. Maybe. Um, I'm job seeking. I'm making sure to enjoy this small period of time where I can basically do anything before I start adulting again. Ugh, I I totally sympathize with that. Um, my brother's kind of in this period where he's just at a university. And when I was in secondary school, when I turned 16, I went straight into like part-time work. So like there were times where I would go like a month where I, I would be um, doing school five days a week, which yeah, school isn't you know an eight hour day, but school is like six and a half hours. Like school is tough. Um, and then I would do work both days of the weekend and then school and then the weekend of working and then school and then the weekend of working. So I'd have like no days off, uh, maybe like an occasional like Saturday or Sunday off. So like I, I threw myself into working and I, I don't regret it or anything, but I also understand where my brother's coming from because his aspect, his old perspective rather, is he's like, well, I'm going to work for the rest of my life. I'm going to enjoy university while I can afford to and while I, you know, sort of can get away with it. I'm just going to like chill. And I'm like, that's, that's fair. Um, like I just really wanted money and I wanted to save money. Um, but if you don't value that and also if you just are in a position where you don't have to, um, I also kind of understand that because it is kind of the morbid truth that we all have to work for many, many years. <laughs> wow. Why is life like this? Weird. It's weird, isn't it? Um, I've gone from sitting on my ass, waking up at midday to working a full six, seven hours and waking up at 6.45. Oof, that's so tough. That is a huge jump. Um, I'm sure you will adjust to it. I'm sure it won't always be this difficult. Um, but that definitely isn't easy. Um, I got three hours of sleep in the last three hours. I feel like you're always saying that, Flash. Do you consistently get three hours of sleep, uh, three hours of sleep every 24 hours? Flash, this is, this is concern. This is very concerning. Do you do that on purpose or do you just like struggle to sleep or? Um, good thing about my job is that I get hella holiday. Yeah, true. But you don't, um, I don't know if, if you can say or if it's the same or whatever, but I know people have said, um, that you don't actually get paid uh, for your school holidays as a teacher 
or at least like overall you get paid less because of that time off it's not the same as like a normal job where you get your paid holiday and you take that which you know there's a huge pro and a huge con to that and it really just kind of you kind of have to balance it out which i guess is like i get maybe that's part of the reason why teacher salaries are a little bit on the lower end because they get a lot of holiday but it also sucks they still deserve so much more money um but I assume it's kind of a similar situation for, for what you're doing. Um, has he had jobs before? No, he's not worked before. Um, he just turned 18 like a few months ago. Um, so he's not had a job yet. But he definitely will in the sort of near-ish future. Because I think he needs to learn to drive. And I think he should um, save money and get like get himself a little car or something. Um, yeah, but that's just my thoughts. Um, I think for now he's kind of just chilling. Um, and it's only his first year of uni, so I think he's getting to grips with what it's like being in university and seeing how much free time he actually has and what it feels like to um, be in sort of university and how much effort he needs to put in and what the course is like and stuff. So I think it's understandable wanting to at least get on with his first year and just see how he goes, but we'll see. I definitely think he should get at least a small little part-time job, but um, I understand also wanting to enjoy <laughs> enjoy it to the best of your ability if you can um i have insomnia clinically diagnosed damn man is there nothing they can do to help you do they not give you medication or anything to to help with that because that sucks it's a fun conversation <laughs> i came here for god of war not emotions sorry sorry we'll we'll play the valkyries and we'll just um you'll feel emotions but those emotions instead of sadness will be anger because you'll be angry at me um, but I've done one Valkyrie, so we will play the the next Valkyrie, which will potentially be the second hardest, the second easiest Valkyrie. Um, the one I've done, um, since you've you swiftly changed the topic there, well done, Andrew. Um, the one I did was Gunner, right? I feel like that one sounds familiar. Um, it's in a chamber within Thamer's corpse in Midgard. Yeah, that sounds right. Thamer is the giant, right? Yeah, it is. So I'm pretty sure that's the one I've done. So the next one we want to do is Kara. I love the name Kara. It's such a nice name. In Irish, um, we have Kara with um, with a C, um, C A R A, and it means friend. Wait, yeah, Kara does mean friend. Yeah, so it's kind of a cute name in Irish as well. Um, I don't think it means. It's obviously a different name in English, um, but also I think it's cute when it has that 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 meaning in Irish. It's cute, right? Cute cute uh, but it's also just a nice name um so yeah yeah i'm gonna go kill kara um so she's in the hidden chamber between the river pass and foothills um i've got like a little guide up so you know remember where people don't have to work jobs they hate where everyone's supporting people and actually work jobs they have passion for but it'll never happen i know it's it's kind of weird that we're in this world where like that doesn't happen um like we're in this situation where it makes sense that we have to work but also like we've put ourselves in the situation where we have to work and in like like in uh, it is weird i did see like someone made this video and they were like like what what would you do if everything just stopped like the supermarkets closed and this and that like would you survive and i was like absolutely not but also nobody would because we've evolved um so so much so i thought that was like a really dumb video but it did make me think like it would have been nice to have to, to be in a world where people were more self-sufficient and did rely less on working for money and more on working for the things we need um, and then partly working for money. So like it would be really nice if we all just farmed and like had our own food and crops and livestock and as much as i mean i'm sure if i grew up and it was normal um i would be more okay with the idea of having to kill animals for food <laughs> but um as as a human as i am now i could not do it even though i do eat meat i could not do it um because i'm i'm pathetic um and i'm I, I've, I've said it so many times if you told me that to eat meat i had to kill the animal myself i would simply become a vegan or a vegetarian um depends on what the parameters you set would be um but i simply would because i could never kill an animal um yeah it'd be really cool if like just the more like 
very specialized things were what we needed money for and everybody worked like you know two days a week i love the four day week work week idea and i do think that one day maybe in our lifetimes but not anytime soon i think it might be normal for like our grandchildren which is fucking depressing that it's that far in the future but i feel like our grandchildren's lives they could be normal for them to have like three and four day work weeks like that could be the idea of like a normal work week um, and I do think it could be implemented and become pretty, pretty like normal in our lifetimes, but I just don't think that it would be, um, anything we can look forward to, to, to benefit too much off of. Um, but I love the idea of it because I just think a two day weekend is, is wild. Um, l even less than that is insane to me. Imagine working six days a week. That is so sad. Um, and I, I feel so sorry for anyone that has to do that. Um, truly. Um. You know, it's like you get a subnet spread out over the holiday weeks. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, But overall, then, yeah, your pay is, like, not... Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think I get what the point... Some I don't remember who said it or where I heard it, but I think I understand what they're trying to say. Um, the only thing is, Victor, about that point is, like, I guess it. What, every time I think about that, like, where everyone can just work whatever they want to work... Is like at the end of the day, there are always going to be jobs that no one really wants to do. So what are the solutions? Like when we get to a world where we have so much automation that robots can do all of those jobs, then maybe that will become normal. But then, how does how does what is this future going to look like if all of the jobs are taken by robots? Is that then not going to be a problem, or does that then allow for everybody to just do whatever they want? But is that going to be a problem? And it's, there's so many questions, and I'm not smart enough to answer them, but it's a, it's a strange thing to consider. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I don't think my brother intends on like never getting a part-time job, but I know that he is just going to vibe for probably at least his first year of uni. Um, but I, I definitely think having at least a, a small job will help. Although, the thing is, I, I don't know, and I, I've had a different experience than you would have, because I obviously had the restaurant, I had a restaurant job for a few years before I got my corporate sort of bank job, um, but I, I don't know that it really does help or not. I know now that I should just take it off my CV altogether, because when you're applying for jobs, no one gives a fuck about the job you worked when you were 16 to 18 in a restaurant because those, those, none of it really matters. But also, um, I guess in interviews, they often ask you like for stories about a time you did X, Y, and Z. And I guess it is harder to do um, without a job. But you can also use examples from school and from your real life. So it's a bit like... I don't know, but obviously if you had an experience where it was tough to do without having any job, then maybe maybe that's fair enough. Um, as far as, yeah, actually I suppose that it would be tough on your CV to have not anything. Uh, it's very hard to get medication that actually works. Oh, that sucks. Um, that'll be marked on your map? Really? Oh, dude, I have a remote job. My job is fully remote and I take naps on my lunch. <laughs> yeah, I, I, as a 16 year old, I ended up working seven a day. I think there was one time where I worked eight days in a row as like a 17 year old. Um, unethical very unethical <laughs> um the solution is to kill yourself <laughs> i have fucking edited two hours of this video i have 17 minutes left to go i'm about to slit my throat that's really good though you're doing really well oh it is definitely illegal <laughs> unethical illegal but that's how they do it that's how they do it um anyway let's play valkyries Valkyries, let's go. Um, headphones, let's go. Um, I have one of my coffees. The coffees are very good. I make a very good coffee. It has to be said and admired and respected. Um, let's check out if they're marked on the map. That would be very useful. I feel like they won't be. That seems too easy. Even though I finished the game, it just seems too easy. 
Yeah, mine mine was initially illegal. And then they eventually put me on the books and I started paying tax <laughs> after like a year. <laughs> so when I applied for my real job, like my real job, um, they I, I put down that I had been working there for two years. But technically, I only had pay slips that went back like a year because I'd only been on the books for a year. Um, but I just, I told them I'd been on for two years. And I remember them asking for the pay slips or something. And I had to just like declare that I had that I had been there for two years and I just didn't have proof. So I had to like sign something to say um, without proof. It was kind of fucking scary. Um, the job was legal, but I was hired illegally. I get what you mean. <laughs> yeah, my job was legal too. I wasn't doing anything dodgy. I was just working in a restaurant. But yeah, I feel like um, most restaurants hire in a dodgy, like most family run stuff is always like under the table, like is, that's the phrase, isn't it? Like nothing is ever legit with them. They kind of just hire left, right and center and they just, because they struggle to maintain people as well or retain people. So I feel like they just, they just say, fuck it. Let's just, um, let's just hand them some cash and not worry too much about it. It's easier for everyone. Um, what, what kind of job was yours? At a deli? Yeah, stuff like that. Like shops, delis, restaurants. Yeah, classic. I didn't pay taxes for three years. Um, did you even, did you make enough money to pay taxes for three years? Because you're allowed to make, well, you, 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 your personal allowance is like 12 grand before you pay any tax, isn't it? Like you don't pay any tax over the first 12 grand you make. Isn't that right? I'm pretty sure that's right. Um, you still have to pay national insurance and be registered. You do need to be registered. If you earn more than a thousand pounds, on any like on a job because you are allowed to do like a side hustle like of a thousand pounds basically um and you don't have to register that at all that can just be like at your discretion um but if you make more than that you do have to register it but you have to pay national insurance are you sure i thought the first twelve thousand was completely tax-free i definitely could be wrong though i i don't know for sure i just thought it was completely tax-free um and I wasn't until like 2017. Ah, uh, you're still breaking the law, but it's all right. It's all right, ladies. Just put that in the chat there. It's all right. Don't worry about it. No one's going to out you. <laughs> as long as you didn't actually owe anything, it's fine. Because um, I also didn't make enough to um, pay tax. I made like maximum like 100 euros a week. Um... Way to say I only started doing it full time in 2016, which is technically true because that's when I left college, but I still don't think it was right. <laughs> um, I'm not seeing the Valkyries on the map. I think, y wait, lol, you didn't lie. You gave me the truth. There's Kara. Let's go to Kara. Um, let's see. Can I fast travel? Is there a fast travel thing nearby? Where is, where is the nearest place to fast travel? Because that's what I would like. Mystic Gateway. It's behind me. There. Mystic Gateway. I love a good Mystic Gateway. I'm so glad that in the UK, if you're employed, you don't have to do with all the tax nonsense. I know. Um, we were talking to Tyler about it. I didn't know that in Australia, they have to do their taxes as well, like in America. Um, but he said it's really easy. And I was surprised by that. Um, I mean, I, I learned how to do, like, really basic tax in secondary school, but I feel like it's always so much harder than that. Like, it's never that easy. Um, but I guess, I guess if you, if it's literally, like, you're on a salary, you're on a salary. That's, you, you get your, say, 1,500 pounds a month, right? That's what you get. You're on a salary. There's n n whatever. M maybe you even get a bonus every year. Throw in the bonus. Like, I guess if that's what you earn then doing tax on that probably isn't that hard. You just do the right calculation and then you pay it. But I, I do hate like, because obviously this is like, James has to pay tax every year instead of every month. Whereas my tax, when I get paid, I, that's my money. It, the, the tax is gone. I fucking hate that in my brain. Like even though um, I know it doesn't really matter, it's really annoying that you have to save up for the tax and then like pay it all. Because every time you get paid, like you think you've got all this money, but then like some of it is is not really your money because it has to be it has to be tax. You have to give it to the tax man. Um, so I wish it just came off automatically, but obviously when you're self-employed, it, it can't. But 
it's just like an inconvenience and like for my brain I just wish that it, it, it didn't work that way but yeah I pay my mum part of my tax return so she files them for me you you pay her to do them for you that's so sweet yeah that's really cool of her to do that for you um because it can be super stressful I imagine um I I feel like everyone in America seems to think it's super stressful um I imagine it is harder for some reason it just seems it gives off this aura of being really difficult um where was that Valkyrie so it was like over here somewhere um how do I get to it though I don't know why it's not even on the map anymore it's inside a hidden chamber between the river pass and foothills Amir, what else did the serpent tell you when you spoke kind of sounded important I'm sure it's nothing he just said the Ooh. voice familiar to him they're saying the thing they said on the last stream no, I've never you. heard them repeat Perhaps he refers to something yet to be Oh, I don't. Said that when Jormungandr and Thor battle at Ragnarok, their clash so violently shakes the tree of life that it splinters, casting the serpent backward through time, even before his own birth. That is madness. Well, I did say not to concern yourself. I like that that is literally just what happens. Me and James watched a video last night. It was called Untangling God of War. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. And I, James had told me this before, but obviously seeing it in the video is much more interesting. I'd never known, like, the real life fact that all of the things we know about, about Norse mythology literally stems from two books. Like, I didn't know that. And I, it makes so much sense why it varies so much and why so many people disagree about what the mythology was. Because it all comes from, like, two books. Or, like, really, it just comes from poetry, doesn't it? Um, which is insane. So how do I get there? So I need to go, uh, uh, what, what? I think it wants me to go up on this. I'm going to say yes. That video is great. Yeah, James, James watched it and then he wanted to watch it with me. It was really well made. I really enjoyed it. They are the ACR's oldest enemies after all. And it's their army that's supposed to do him in in the end. But more than that. He covets their gifts of prophecy. He wants to know what they know and see what they see. So much suffering could have been avoided if his insatiable curiosity was not so much stronger than his wisdom. What do you mean? Ah, remind me to tell you why they call him the Lord of the Hag. Oh, they add these to... I don't want to go back to Mimir's tales. Mimir is helping us figure out why Boulder of the Asia came to, to our door. I know what you are. You know what I want. Who? Is that all it says? But these are not... These are quite vague. Cool. Uh, that's like ancient Egyptian mythology. Each city had their own. Each tomb had its own version of the liturgy. So no one agrees on one sole mytho uh, mythos. That's so cool. See, I, I never read because which with there's some. There are some that like are very clear, right? She's probably in there planning your demise, brother. That's so cool. Like she did you, Mimir. Oh, I'm not alive, lad. I'm reanimated, sure, but make no mistake, I'm still quite dead. I'll never be what I once was. She won't want this for her son. Trust me. That's a relief. Not the part about you being dead. Oh. You know. How do I get that? This is so cool. I've never continued the game after finishing it. So I've never heard them say these things. That's so cool. They're like, oh my god, Freya's angry at us. Let's let's talk about that. Why why do I need this? Oh. Right. Robot. 
That's why I like. That's why I like Norse mythology, to be honest. Oh, have I found it? Nice. Boy. Christianity's fractured, but it's very similar through lines. Ancient Egyptian is just a mess. Like, there's a million different creation myths. I think that makes for such an interesting opportunity. Um, well, it, I mean, it's a shame in one sense. It'd be cool to know. Well, maybe maybe there just was a lot of disagree- shit. Maybe there was just a lot of disagreement. I feel like with Norse mythology, isn't the issue that they didn't write anything down? So we'll just never ever know what they actually thought? Um, whereas maybe with the Egyptians, they would d disagreed a lot? I don't know. You, you let me know. Um... But it does make for a good opportunity for things like um, media. So you get so many different interpretations, um, which is always fun. So it really wants me to do something with the winds of hell, but I don't see no winds of hell, you know? I'm also kind of on the lookout for these um, other letters. But I don't see them anywhere, you know? How, how, huh? Huh. Huh. It was made upon a potter's wheel. I think one was that the world was born by a goose. Like the, a, a giant goose laid him. Him? A giant goose laid the world? What a good goose. I gotta say thanks to that goose one day. I really like all these. <laughs> I like the pottery one too. That's very cute. Dude, where's the things for this chest? I need the R and the N. R and N. Ooh. There's the N. Uh, give, give me the... Oh, bitch. There you go. How do I... I just don't know how I would get to the chest, though. I like puzzles. As, as difficult as I may find them sometimes. How would I get to that, though? That's the question. But it, oh! I should shoot that. Thanks, Atreus, my number one hype man. Do you think simply God will be in God of War? It's so shit that in Christianity, God is just called God. Like, at least all the other ones have like cool names and they are gods. But in Christianity, it's just like God. God. Do any other, um,. Religions just call their god, God. Well, I guess it's kind of confusing because certain offcuts of offshoots of um, Christianity consider God to be Jesus, right? So some might refer to God as Jesus. But in, I'm pretty sure, maybe I misunderstood, but I grew up Catholic and I'm pretty sure we just called God, God. And we didn't think Jesus was God. We just thought Jesus was his son. I think. <laughs> Doesn't Jew, uh, Jewish call God God? Because they can't say his true name. Is that so? Cool. So uh, Jew, Jews do, Catholics do, or uh, Christians do actually, sorry. God has a name, Christianity, there's a few names. Yahweh is one name of God. Jehovah is another name. I don't know. I don't know about the other ones because I only grew up um, Catholic. Maybe, maybe they. Yeah, maybe they. That's the other ones. I'm pretty sure us 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 little little Catholics. We just used to call him him God. But I also um could be misremembering the Holy fucking Spirit. <laughs> yeah, that's actually true. That is what. <laughs> what we referred to him as. 
as well. Oof, how do you get to that one? I think you need to get to that, but I don't know how to get to that. But Yahweh yeah, sounds... Or Yahweh, I don't remember how you say that, but that sounds familiar. I don't remember which one that... which religion that's from. Oh, it doesn't let you go in. That's fun. Um, I'm running around like a headless chicken. I love it. Oh, ooh. All right, I guess we're doing the winds of hell. Let's go. Uh, hello, Pedro. Well, to be honest with you, Pedro, this, this, this little old, this little old situation here, this is nothing. We're gonna be playing the easier ones, I think. Okay, so let's scout ahead and just consider. Sorry, that's her fucking house. I'm an idiot. Where do we want to go with this? Do we want to go down here? I think we do. Um, I was baptized but I've never been religious and neither of my family. That's, do you know what? That's actually so typical. What, like, were you baptized into Christianity? I feel like that's a very Christian thing. A lot of, I think James might have been actually. Isn't that really funny? Oh, dick. I forget where the, um, next Winds of Hell thing is. I saw so many of them and now I don't even know where they are. Is there one up here or something? Oh. Okay, let's go to that door. Wait, is it? That's not where I got it from, is it? Fuck, I bet it is. Watch this. This will be so funny. No, I didn't get it from here. Oh, I fucking did. I fucking did! <laughs> so dumb! <laughs> Shut up, everyone. Don't laugh at me. Wait, where's the next one? Is there something across here? I don't think there is. Oh, fucking. I feel like I was supposed to say, well, just in case. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a very Christian thing. They even even when they're not very religious, they kind of just say, "Yeah, let's just do it. Why not?" It's a bit of a laugh. And you get confirmed at the age of twelve, which is really wild. Um, and I really remember this vividly. When we were 12, so we were in primary school. So in, in Ireland, you stay in primary school until you're like 12. Uh, and you go to secondary school around 12, 13. And we, at 12 years old, some, maybe even 11, were preparing, okay, that's where I want to go, to be confirmed. So we were all like, um, learning all these songs, practicing like the... Um, the, 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 the ceremony and whatnot, like what we have to do, how we have to walk and all that shit. That was close. And I remember my teacher at the time, and I remember she was like, she's a lovely lady, but she's also like a very strict lady. And I remember she said to us, she was like, really, I don't think any of you should be confirmed yet. You're all a bit too young to know. And you should all really be confirmed when you're 18. Like, you know, you're only 12. Like, you're very young. You don't really know. You're a bit too young for this. And I remember me and all my friends were like rolling our eyes. Like, <laughs> shouldn't know what she's talking about. And it's so funny because literally not even when I was 18. But like a couple of years later, I stopped believing in God. <laughs> it's wild. Like, and, and the... I vividly remember truly be believing that she was like so dumb. Um, so like in Christianity, so you get baptized. It's like one, like is it a sacrament? Is that what they call it? So like, like most religions, I'm sure have sacraments where like stages of like entering the the um, religion. So like baptism is like the one you do when you're a baby, and then when you're like 
eight, you get your communion, your first communion, which is when you start, you know, going to church and you get like the little, the little thing, the little body of Christ, and as they they call it, and that's like a ceremony in itself. And then a few years later, you do another ceremony, and that's like the final ceremony. It's like your final initiation to become a full Christian, something like that, right? That's what they call it, body, the body of Christ. That's what they say. He holds up and he goes, "Body of Christ." It's it's. It's actually really funny and weird when you take a step back at it. No disrespect. If you want to believe it, that's awesome. But I don't, personally. Um, but anyway, it's it's just... It's such... It's just... Oh! Kratos is angry. Um, it's... The, yeah! It's a little wafer. I used to love it. I used to taste really good. I used to... I remember being a kid and be, uh, just imagining, like... Because you could see where they kept them. They have, like, these... Um, like, at the altar, they have, like, these little towers, like, with a little cabinet in it. And in the cabinet, they have just, like, like, fucking bis- It's, like, it's like stacks of biscuits, but instead it's the- Yeah, they're, like, wafers. Um, and they're just, like, these little circles are super thin. And that's, like, what they hand out to everybody as part of the ceremony during every single routine mass that they do. Um, it's just, like, a routine mass thing, right? If you're not Christian, I guess it would make sense. So, or if you've never been a Christian. Um, but- during every ceremony towards the end of the mass, they'll just do this routine. They everybody queues up, and he, the the priest will just like get this little wafer, and he'll hand it to you. And sometimes some of the older people mainly will put their tongue out, and the priest will have to put it directly on your tongue. It's really weird, but that's a thing that the older people like. There you go. Um, but I used to imagine like not really breaking in, but I used to just imagine how how handy, how great it would be to have access to that little chest. And just break in and just steal all of those little wafers and just eat them all because they used to taste... They didn't taste like really anything, but I just used to, I think it's because you, you, you only used to have them so rarely that they were like forbidden or just so like special that I just wanted to have so many of them. <laughs> but you never got to drink the wine, that was only for the priests. And only because they also used to have like normal people who were like allowed to hand out the wafers as well. Um, they used to be allowed to drink the wine, but normal people, we didn't get to do that. Um, but anyway, yeah, you, so you get confirmed at 12. Um, I don't, I think that's where I was going with that. I don't remember why I got detoured. I don't remember what, what the, what the, what the, what the, what, what the point I was making was before I detoured about wanting to eat and steal tons of the communion bread. Um, <laughs> the fuck was I fucking talking about? Um, you just buy the- it's bread with no yeast, is that what it is? I'm gonna go buy some. <laughs> my grandma actually let my dad and my aunt and uncle choose if they wanted to be baptized in the first place when they were older. I think that's a pretty good way to go about it. Yeah, that is cool. I think it's- it's a very confusing and strange moral dilemma, isn't it? Baptizing a child when they're a baby. It's like on one hand it's like, well you just want them to have the same fate as you. I think- is there really harm in that? But then also you're indoctrinating them, which there can be harm in that, I guess. But also like, is it harming anyone? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. It's too, it's too nuanced. Like you can't know the actual impact. It's like a case by case ba basis. Sometimes people are super chill about being Christian. It doesn't affect their life in any negative way. They're just super normal people. They have, they only take the good out of the religion. But sometimes, and I'm just speaking about Christianity. It's the only one that I have experience with. But then sometimes, obviously people, you know, they're the ones that take the, the religion and will believe that, you know, they're homophobic because of it. And you could then argue, well, indoctrinating them into the religion has made them a fucking bad person. So that's pretty fucking negative. So it's like, you know, at the end of the day, it'd be great to let people choose their path. Um, it's really hard to say, like, should we ban allowing parents to baptize their babies? It's tough, because it's like, you know, if a parent wants their kid to just be part of the same religion, they're part of it. It's hard to say they can't do that. It's very, it's a very difficult situation. I, I don't want to say one way or the other. Um, I personally wouldn't want to indoctrinate my child into anything, but I understand it's just a cultural thing. Um, but I just feel like there is that potential negative side. Um, I don't know. Tough. Tough. Very tough. Um, what the fuck do I do with this now? <laughs> I don't fucking know. I think it needs to- I need to go back this way somewhere. Uh, I don't know. And then... Alright. 
Oh, I don't fucking know. Fully atheist, but I love learning about religion and holy books since so it's really fun to learn what they believe. Yeah, it is fun looking looking in from the outside for Ooh, the final one. Um looking from the outside in for sure. Let's go open that chest. And I think like inherently it having faith in something isn't normally an issue. It just can be. My child's getting indoctrinated into gaming. Nice! Three horns. Oh my god, it's been nearly an- Oh fucking hell, how's it been an hour? <laughs> That's so dumb. Wait. How do I move that? How do I get down there to move that though? Right, um, I don't know what this Winds of Hell situation's about. I'm thinking let's just try the Valkyrie because it's maybe been a bit too long. <laughs> it's maybe time to, um, to give the Valkyrie a go. I didn't realize uh, that it's been almost an hour. <laughs> Oops. Um, super psychedelic with the Bible says. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, there you go, classic Bible. Uh, they have the smoke and it makes you choke. What? What are you talking about? They have the smoke and it makes you choke. I have no idea what you, what, what does that mean? <gasps> we did it. All right, does anyone know, remember or know how difficult this Valkyrie is gonna be? The Kara, excuse me, the Kara one? <laughs> angry um but they have like smoke lanterns that they wave around at funerals oh yeah they do yeah um i i used to be an altar server i used to love it um they used like i genuinely used to really enjoy doing it um but they also give you used to give you like two euros at the end I used to fucking love it um but i used to genuinely really enjoy serving at mass um because you used to you put on like these little robes um, and you used to get to ring the the bell, which like we used to all get to like fight over who got, well not even fight, but like you you have to be like the first one to ask and the first one to like be in line in the right position to ring the bell. Um, and you, cause you used to like, when you were growing up as a Christian and you're going to mass, um, and like my, my granddad especially um, is very religious and he would go to mass quite often. Um, I think probably goes a little bit less now, but definitely as I was growing up and as I, I was, um, in sort of primary school and so on. I was quite religious and I was quite into it. And so I'd go to mass quite a lot, at least weekly I would go. Um, and I used to obviously watch all the older kids who are a couple of years older than me get to serve at mass. And I used to be like, oh, that looks so fun and like cool. And like, I would love to do that. Um, and then finally when I was old enough to, every time we would, my granddad be going to mass, I'm like, I'll just come with you because then I'll see if they need anyone to serve. Cause they used to do like a, like a roster. So my primary school had a church like right beside it. So the primary school would like basically say, we have the slightly older kids that are all Christians here. They will do a roster and they will all show up to their designated day to do a mass. Um, but then other kids like me would just show up anyway and be like, hey, do you need anyone else? And if they needed to, they would just like be like, yeah, sure. Here, come and serve the mass. And I would just do it all the fucking time. I used to love it. You used to like be able to ring the bell. You'd like move around. You'd like do certain things. You'd like t like bring things to the priest. Like it was actually fun. Like it, it was actually a great experience. I really enjoyed doing it um, as a kid. It, it was actually great. I won't lie. It was, it was fun. Um, but I mean, as far as like, like obviously it wouldn't be fun if you weren't into Christianity. It would be very weird if you weren't. Um, my granddad and grandma were incredibly religious. The pastor comes around my granddad's house every week to bless him. Oh, that's so sweet. Um, that's lovely. Yeah, my my grandparents used to get like I don't really know what they are, but they're like cards from the priest. I don't know if they're blessed, but they're like some sort of like I don't know what they are. They're some form of cards, like they're little like postcards almost. I don't know what they do with them. Have you seen Midnight Mass? No. No, I don't know what that is. What is Midnight Mass? Why have I heard of, what is, what is, what is, what is, is that a TV show? It's a, it's a horror? Mm. I don't like horror. Keep that shit away from me. 
Why are you talking to me about horror? I'm so- I'm scared of everything. Why are you talking to me about horror? <laughs> why, why are you suggesting this, Andrew? Is it really good or something? Because, um, I'm scared of everything. I truly am scared of everything. Still scared of everything. Um, although I have been sort of, um... I'm trying to think of the word. Harassing James. Maybe not quite, but I've been asking James frequently to watch Midsummer with me. Um, because I'm too scared to. Because I know it's like a little bit freaky. But I know that it will be good. But just freaky. And I don't want to watch it by myself. But I do want to watch it. Um, my mom going to a theological debate with the pastor when she was around granddad's at the same time. What the fuck? <laughs> I bet he loved that. I bet he fucking loved that. The priest that used to come to our school every so often was so nice. He was such a nice guy. Like, he was actually young enough as well. Like, not young, but he was like, like mid-30s. Um, so, like, that's young enough relatively in terms of priests. So, I feel like priests are generally older fellas. Um, but he was such a nice guy. Um, I can't imagine having a debate with him. <laughs> he would be so nice about it. He'd just be like, yeah, that's fair, you know? Because he was very respectful. Um, he was a very respectful guy. Because some of them definitely can be very blunt <laughs> he was a bit low-key homophobic dang man see some of them can obviously be that way but some of them are good people like i think the one that i have in mind i'm pretty sure he was a good dude like he was just like he was a religious but also had modern beliefs um i think i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure um i like to think but that's really sad. Um, and that's why my mum challenged him a bit. Oh, your mum is the best, Jamie. I love her. Do you have the Elvis the Rooster's mask? We're only 362... <laughs> We're only 363 days away from Halloween, to be fair. <laughs> so, why, so why are you suggesting it, Andrew? Do you think I would like it? Is it, like, how scary is it? Is there a lot of jump scares? Um, they were talking about having a mask we have that's actually done at midnight on the 24th of December yeah we do yeah they do a midnight mass for Christmas that's true and that's what I thought at first because that would have been relevant as well to like religion but um no just and he's just like hey horror let's talk about horror <laughs> uh Midsummer has one of the most realistic interpretations of psychedelic mushroom use it's peak they did their research sick I don't really know what it's about I just know it's a bit freaky and I don't, I don't really want to know, so no one tell me anything too much about it. I just, um, I just kind of want to see what it's about. I'm just super interested in, um, we have to save her. watching we some more. Are we prepared to face such a powerful foe? Probably not. I see him here. If that counts for anything. <laughs> I was just gonna say, I love you so much, Mimir. I love him so much. Um. No, I, I don't know, like, I'm just kind of trying to get into watching stuff that's a bit more on the, like, spooky, freaky, weird side. I just feel like there's so many movies that I just exclude from my vicinity because they're, like, meant to be a bit scary. But I just, I, I'm trying to push myself, you know, because I think I'm, I think I'm missing out on good content, good experiences by, by being too scared. Um, like, I'm not going to watch something that is made to simply be like jump scares and just scary but i think it was meant to be like weird and but but it was meant to be like thought provoking and like strange and interesting and weird and trippy and all that stuff i think like that's a cool experience that i want to have it was like malicious homophobic but like homoph do you mean it wasn't like malicious homophobic but like homophobic marriages man and, and woman type thing Still, su I th I'm gonna interpret it as that because that makes more sense in the sentence. Um, but that sucks. I'm, I love that your mum challenged that. What did? What did? How did that end? Did he just walk away saying, "Shut up, woman," or did he? I I feel like, I feel like it's really hard to change someone, especially someone like that, like a priest, who I feel like is gonna be so set in their ways. How do you even go about changing? their thoughts on something it's so hard isn't it um and florence Pugh is so beautiful and perfect she's a wonderful actress oh oh no um maybe i should use this because she looks this this lady looks like she might be red oh i'm blocking 
Mundo. Oh, I thought I booked that time, but I guess not. This is like the other one so far. successful block that's fucking sad okay let's just um let's just find our way over here quickly okay that didn't really work out in my favor it didn't really work out in my favor at all Blech. all right um i always use my runic straight away to Done. Oh, good idea. I'll give that a go. I I never really know how to start the fight. I always want to start it with like obviously maximum damage, but I didn't even notice my health was low. <laughs> Oops. Um, that wasn't too bad though. I think if I just like learn, learn the patterns a little bit, I think we'll be okay. We'll be fine. Um, the best fight is Sigrun because it was more varied. Um, wait, is that which one was Sigrun? Who's that again? Hang on. Please, please don't be mean to me. I just need to remind myself. Wait. Oh, I haven't done that one yet. Oh, that's a Valkyrie Queen. See, I recognize the name, but I, I don't know why. <laughs> so that one will be more varied. Okay, that's sick. I can't wait for that one. That one's the one that took James the longest, right? Not looking forward to losing and being bad and dying. Which one should I, hang on. Which one should we use? The really, wait, we'll use this one. No, I tried to turn around, but I was not doing a good job of it, apparently. It's really hard to turn around sometimes. I need to start using that fucking... Because I, um, I use my... Fuck, what am I even saying? I don't even know what I was about to say there. Ugh, I love that he fucking zooms towards her. I love it so much. Oh, I need to use the, um... Fuck, 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 fuck. I was trying to get to the fucking health zone. It was even hard on easy mode. Oof, to me. That doesn't sound too flippin' good.
Oh, that was fucking... Oh, you whore. It's those, um, shooty attacks that are, are getting me. <laughs> ah! I never said how that happened, but there was exactly one Valkyrie did first try. And it was sick run. She was the absolute last thing I did now. The best possible equipment in the game. <laughs> how did you do that? That's so good. Block that, Are you kidding? I literally did block it though. It's too quick for me to do full combos, so I think I have to do threes. I don't know if that's good. I didn't actually mean to do that, I was trying to press R3. But I pressed R uh, L3 as well, but I didn't mean to, so that's a shame because I didn't mean to do it. I feel like that's not what I intended to do, but it's a real shame. Uh, it's a real shame. She is so unaffected by this right now. She's loving it. Oh, I thought I kind of got that in time, but at least I blocked it. Those aren't really, um, the kind of attacks you can get back. Uh, what are they? What's that called? Parry attacks. That's fucking unfair! <laughs> I wish it didn't take so long to heal! How? Oh, I'm fucking! Oh my god! Are you winning, son? <laughs> I bet him, Jim. Welcome back. How are you? <laughs> Just that chance that's what I thought too when I said shooty. <laughs> I was like, it's the shooting attacks that are getting me. <laughs> Not the shooty got one attacked. <laughs> the new doctor, he's out to get me. I never said how that happened. Um, uh, yeah, I love the difficulty. I can't like, yeah, I'm having fun with this. I think um, these Valkyries are more fun than, say, a troll fight because I feel like the troll fights are just like. So, you just like go bomb, 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 bomb. I feel like these require a bit more brain power. Um, and as I always say, like, my favorite boss fight that I've ever done in my entire life in a game ever was fighting Lingering Will on Critical in Kingdom Hearts 2. It was the most fun thing I've ever done. And anytime I even get close to that experience, I have a lot of fun. So, like, this experience being like having to slightly learn an attack pattern and slightly get better every time. Just even just touching on th that that kind of experience is, is what I enjoy. So, you know, I am having fun. Uh, you're pretty close to take your dad already though. You were yeah, yeah, I was actually doing all right just there. It's pretty, it's pretty, pretty not bad. Uh, brain power, ooh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Who would win the fist fight? Peter Cavaldi or Jodie Whittaker? Um, Peter Cavaldi or Jodie Whittaker? I think Peter, probably. Like, I think he's on the older side, but I don't think he's actually that old. I don't think he's like, see, that's what my thought process was too, Jamie. And like, I'm not, I'm, I just think like, Jodie doesn't seem like she's strong. 
she's a strong woman in every way other than physically from my perception but I could be wrong she could have some major guns under that little blue coat of hers uh, who would just the power of his eyebrow <laughs> oh bitching fuck oh fuck you fuck I've really fucked that one up haven't I I'm happy to say that I know what to do at this point when she does that. Like, it's pretty clear. And I know what to do there, so that's good. Oh, I should have blocked- I don't know why I just kept blocking there. That was dumb. That was unfair. Oh my god, how did that- I got knocked out of it. That's a shame. No! The health is very mean right now. There's like the full health outside, but only I can get to it, so that's a shame. Oh, you're kidding. What the fuck? Wait, where's my- where's my stone? Where's my stone? What? Had I already used it? Has it used up now? What? But I- but I- but I died! But- but I died! Huh? But I died. How can you possibly do no damage in this game? It's a really good question, I think. Oh my god. I'm so fucked. This is this is it's 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 just like all the extra enemies are absolutely killing me. It's fucking ruining my life. Yeah, at least I got a little bit of health in there. That shouldn't have been a, a, a parry. I was literally just holding my shield up just there. Oh, that was not... I don't know what happened there.
Okay, I see some health. Why is my- why is it not letting me do my circle? Why was it not letting me do my circle? I actually forgot about my circle heal in every other run I've done. And I've just remembered it. And for some reason it's not letting me do it, even though it says I've used it, but I don't think I have. Oh my god, this is such a joke. Oh, fucking horror. Oh my god, this is... Why isn't Atreus finding me health? What a little bitch. Oh, uh, come on, health reach. Mass Smith is my favorite. Tendon is a very close second. You know, I think both of them are so very valid. I think they're, they're the both most valid choices, in my opinion. Um, I think David Tennant will always be my favorite, but I think uh, Matt Smith, for me, is a very close second. Uh, that's my opinion. Yeah, do you know, I'm with you on that one, Victor. I think, I, and I, I think I realize it now, but Capelli does actually have some really good moments, and he actually is really good. Um, but I guess his stories overall are just not as strong. Um, I really loved Matt Smith in House of the Dragon. I think he was really good. What? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I have a skill. I thought I had a skill. I thought I had something that, like, was for multiple enemies, like, for, like... Ooh, I've never actually done that before. See, ideally I would be focusing on her because I think that she's just going to keep summoning more enemies every time I destroy the enemies, so it's like counterproductive, but I can't really win. Is there no way in this game to type in healing from the ad? Uh, uh, there might be something, I don't know. Uh, I can use um, Atreus's uh, summon. I should use that.
Nice, thank you, Atreus. I think I need to keep myself out of the open so that I can't get... What am I supposed to do? How did that get me if I was blocking? Oh, I think I have to dodge that, but I don't know exactly what it was. You have- I just did my summon. I don't- I didn't have my summon. Let's go. Whoa, I pressed the wrong button there. I did not mean to press the wrong button. I'm gonna try and keep myself more in a corner here. I'm gonna try and keep out of the open more so that I don't get cornered like I have so many times. And that's what makes it so hard. Oh, you can't- I was trying to fucking reflect those, which is dumb. Yeah, that's the one. I see the red now. I haven't even noticed the red before. I don't think I ever see her actually doing the attack. Oh yeah, I could switch the blades. Yeah, not a bad idea. I just keep... I dodged that at the wrong time. Yes, dodged it. Nice. Go me. No. I think I just keep accidentally healing without noticing. Oh, I didn't fucking notice it was that attack she was doing. Shit. Okay, let's use some runics here. I think I... No! Please! Yes! 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 Let's go! Let's go! Even though I consider this kind of cheating and I would rather not win this way, it must be done. Aw, oh, dick. Oh no, that was meant for her!
go. Alrighty. Loki needs to be a better tank. He's a pretty fucking shit tank, to be honest. He's also not- yeah, I, I need to press the, uh, the arrow shoot button more, to be honest. Thank you for releasing my physical form. I have only gratitude. Welcome. Why are you trapped? I am... uncertain. My mind... still fragmented. The Rokstol of Valkyr. It is the last thing I remember. The what? Valhalla awaits. I must return. Let's see what the next one is. Uh, we have... So, Gear the Riffel. Wonderful. I'm so glad she's okay. What is that, Mamir? It's a council chamber of sorts, hidden away in Midgard. The Valkyries would often need a place to confer outside of Odin's prying eyes. They thought <clears> themselves <throat> properly conceived. Oh, but I like my my health. Um... But the All Father sees all, so the saying goes. Where is it? We weren't far from it on our way to Thormur's chisel. The entrance is to the left of the two Warsmen statues. You think we mentioned this at the time? I didn't think we'd be hunting down Valkyries at the time, brother. Think we'll find out why the Valkyries are like this? That chamber held a special significance for them. We'll find something there, I'm certain of it. No time to travel to the next place. So this one is the foothills of Midgard. Oh. I don't really know that it's worth traveling anywhere, to be honest. Just mark it on the map. Um Yeah, it's that one. Um what we need. Ooh. Why don't I have a time travel to there? Oh, I feel like I should be able to travel to all these places. It's so annoying. Um, but what we need to do is check that we definitely have all the best bits and pieces. I think I saw, so I think that's definitely gonna be the best. Let's just check that none of these are better. Oh <gasps> no, I didn't mean to do that. I like that one potentially. But defense is probably more important to me, to be honest. No, I keep pressing the wrong button. Um, seven defense and three strength versus eight luck. See, I feel like this one's better. Um. And just to check, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's the the gold is the best. It's never gonna be. Yeah, um, we can get more skills. I guess we just buy these. Even though I don't really think I'm gonna use them. We probably should have every skill. Oh, uh, actually, though. Actually, I am just thinking, though. These. If I can further upgrade any of these. Oh. Oh. Doesn't need me to upgrade any of these. See, is that supposed to be really good then or something? Because that one's much more expensive to upgrade. 
That one's only, see, this one is a level three, right? And this one has three far, four damage, three frost, three stun. This one has, will have four damage and three frost at level two. And then level three will give it five damage, whereas this one would only have four damage, but then it would give me no stun. So this one has stun and frost, whereas this one would only have damage, a lot of damage, but the same frost. Here, yeah. what's the question? Interesting question. It's good it tells you what you get for each upgrade. So this one gives you four damage and three frost. So this one would give you four damage or five damage this one would give you five damage but no frost i do like damage the most this one would give you five damage and three frost this one would give you three this one would give you four damage four frost I'm kind of thinking maybe this one will be good to get because then I would ultimately end up with five damage to frost versus, hmm, I don't know. Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it as is for now. I'm too scared. Oh, I don't know where Sora is. I think he's upstairs. So I am sorry, Victor, but I'm going to refund you. Because I... I'm, yeah, I'm going to refund you because I don't... I don't know where the dog is and I don't want to forget. So it's better I just refund you and you can just ask when he is in the vicinity. Sorry. Um... Um, I didn't know that was possible. Yeah, it's great. I basically just reject. <laughs> I just say, no, I reject this. Um, and it gives you your points back. So you can just, yeah, just request it. If, um, so is about, then I can make sure that I can do it for you. Uh, so it's right here. <laughs> oh no, so what are you doing on my screen? Um, I always use blessing if you care. It just, it just so much damage. So that would be... That one. I mean, how much does it cost to level it up? So I could have that or that. We'll try it out and see how we go. <sighs> have you done a uh, nipple helmet all? I think I called, um, is it Alf, Alfheim? I think I called Alfheim Niflheim by accident last stream at some point. Um, I think they do get harder, to be honest. Um, I think I'm doing them in order of easiest to hardest. That's my intention anyway. But I don't know for sure. But this article Betrayal. is listing them. Me. So I'm presuming the article is listing them in terms of easiest to hardest so to a modest example of odin's thirst for knowledge the time he spent nine days a dead man hung himself by the neck from yggdrasil's branches put his spear through his own side and he has arrived he roamed around the world so is too cute i love the sora emotes it got fed up with him and sent him back to the land of the living did i not mention he was barking mad <laughs> barking mad like sora <laughs> That's why Valk is going to be fun to watch. I haven't even been there before, have I? Do you know, what places have... I probably haven't been to some of these places ever before because I just played the game. I don't even know if I actually did any side stuff. I'm sure I did some, maybe, on my first playthrough. Um, but they're probably places I just haven't been before because if you kind of only go there for a bit of side stuff and a Valkyrie... I definitely didn't do the Valkyries. I didn't even know. Well, I mean, I'm sure. I probably like knew of them, kind of, but I didn't make any effort to do them. 
it's my yeah, I probably career. haven't flashed. <laughs> and if you mean to make your career as a counselor to kings, you can't very well rule out petty maniacs. Available positions are scarce enough. <laughs> my first master was a cool piece of work as well, but I learned through him the enduring power of wit, which served me well with kings and gods alike. I couldn't have been much older than you when I started. A fairy king's errand boy and unofficial jester. By night, my mates and I had the run of the forest. Good fellows, they called us. Neighbors spikes to the last. We get up to all manner of mischief, making fools of the local mortals. But as long as our lord was kept amused, we were spared the consequences. Oh. Then one day he was not amused. And I saw fit to move on. Thankfully, the ages and roads traveled since then have turned me from that merry wanderer into the paragon of virtue. Let's see this dock. Does it mean over here? We can beach the boat here. I don't understand. What the fuck? Is it not? How the fuck am I gonna get there? Am I really on the right way? Because I feel like this is taking me the wrong way. I feel- I don't trust this. Yeah, I think this is right. Okay. All right. Ooh, we can chat with the lads. Little fellas, if they're about. Oh, let's fight these. I'm gonna die. Lol. Wait, where actually- hang on. Are the fellas at the other end? Are they all the way at the other end? So I need to buy a new stone anyway. So I don't really want to go and do this Valkyrie without the stone. That's the fucking annoying part of using the stone means it doesn't have the stone. So I need to buy the new stone. Come on, Kratos. You're a literal god of war. You can sprint for a bit longer. Imagine being god of war, but you can only sprint for like five seconds. Imagine all the things Kratos, like all the things we know that Kratos can do. And he can't sprint for very long. No! I didn't! Shut up! Goodness me, I cannot uh, do anything. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't have enough. Why do I have so little hack silver? Right, let's sell. Sorry you wasted my 
my time. Oh no, wait, okay, I'm not done. What's good? Oh, I'd rather this one. I'd rather this one. I would get the bit of stones, but they're actually- they haven't put them into the game yet. It's a shame. It's really tragic. I also think Rock fails to see the gravity of the situation. He thinks that the alchemist is important, but it's not. I've already saved everything. Everything is done. I don't need him to do anything for me. He's like, oh, it's for you. If you do the alchemist thing for me, then, you know, like, you'll benefit. But actually, Brock, I don't need the alchemist. I'm going to be just fine without it. I think the alchemist has the bit of stones. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I don't want to die again. Let's just do the Valkyrie. Oh. This is re we really have to go all this way. What a pain. Oh, I didn't even need to fucking run all the way back. Yeah, I could have just uh, just gone my way and then I would have been able to just go to Sindri. It would have been fucking easy. That's annoying. Oh well. You know, it in the end, in the end it was nice to see the guys. It was it was worth it. In the end, it was worth it. <laughs> Was it though? Was it really worth it? No, no, it was not. Oh well. Oh, <gasps> we're here. It's very satisfying when he. Yeah, love it. I just made a little god of war, but you can only do what Elvis tells you to do. <laughs> Because that is worse than only being able to sprint for five seconds. Uh, it was worth it to hear Brock talk about the alchemist once more. I'm sure we'll hear that several more times at least. Um, I need to go to the bathroom though, so we'll, um, we'll we'll just have a quick break. And then we'll do this Valkyrie. And then it will be great. All right, be right back.
All right, and let's go. And let's go. Sorry. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> the little dinks when you miss is hilarious. Well, I'm trying to work out what that means. The dinks of missing what? Oh, like, is that, is that when I miss when I throw the arrow? Oh. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? If we can get this one done as well, and that's three Valkyries down. And there's what? There's eight, and the eighth one is the queen, right? Right? That's pretty good. It's not bad. Although, the fact that they get harder does, does make it not good, really. We might be able to get, like, two more done. This one and another one, maybe. Because if I... Yeah, because it's only ten o'clock. If I end at, like, half eleven. It's like an hour and a half. To get at least two more done. If this one takes, like, half an hour. Because this one won't be as hard as the next one will be. And then say the next one's pretty hard and it takes an hour. It's doable. When you're opening the door with the chisel. With the chisel? Wait, was there a chest in the last Valkyrie room that I missed? Because, because, because I don't, did I miss one in the last Valkyrie? There hardly, hardly, hardly. What's down here? That is a horn. That is another chest. Hello, other chest. What is this? Thank you. Was there hidden shit like this in the other one? I fucking missed it if there was. What a shame. It'll take a lot longer. Yeah, but not not like so much longer that I can't do it. It's another I can do. We're gonna save her. I can right? do a couple. I, I, can her, do, I can do two more. Wings off, and my vote is I. They're yeah. fairly Go similar. Oh, okay. I Besides the the Nilfheim, Niffel, sorry, Niflheim and Musfelheim. Is that so? Right, she looks. What kind of one do we think she'll be? Do we think she's a cold lady or a, a hot lady? Prepare yourself. Oh. Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, she is a slightly different attack pattern, but she has some of the same attacks. Oh, this is much harder to get an opportunity to do anything. Oh, thank god she's not getting ads, though. Oh, shit. I, I thought I dodged that in time. Okay, that went really badly, but listen. I'm only- I'm not- I'm not gonna- this is not gonna be the one that I win on, obviously, but we're just carrying on to, uh, to try and... Okay, I can't actually get those ones back at her. Oh, fuck me. Oh my god. We've only beaten one this stream, James. To, like, to be fair, I, I've been, I messed around for the first hour, and we beat one in half an hour, and then I just won a BRB, and I've been, yeah, then it took like a few minutes to get here, and I've just started. That was my first try on this one, which was really bad. Um, but I'm glad you only have 10 minutes left to edit. That's amazing. Wow. Wow. Yeah, we talked about religion for ages while I was doing. I dodged at the wrong time. Oh, those aren't dodged yet. Okay, failing poorly. How do you dodge that one then? Because... <gasps> How 
How do, oh, how do you, how do you, how do you, what do you do when she does smoke then? Do you like turn away? Like in, like in Final Fantasy XIV? Like look away! Turn away from the eye! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Hey Joe! Rumor has it Elva as real. I'm not gonna confirm or deny. Oh, oh, address rumors. Ah! Yeah. Thank you so much, Joe, for the two months, the, the three months. Thank you so much. Okay, okay, okay. It's all right. It's all right. We're just warming up. We're just warming up. We're just warming up. Dodge! What the fuck? I clearly pressed the buttons wrong there. I don't know what you're meant to do to that. That is not fire, buddy. What are you talking about? Yeah, I dodged at the wrong time there, I know. <gasps> Fuck off. Alright, well we got halfway, which isn't bad. It's trying to get to the health. It's all right. We are learning. We're learning each time. But if James on only fans just for Sora picks, what the fuck? Yeah, I guess I guess it would be exclusive Sora dog picks. That's what his Instagram is, if 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 you like. <laughs> Oh, let's use uh, Atreus's summon. Fucking her right up. Her. 
Fuck you. I was so near that little health right there. Doing pretty okay there, or at least at least we got close to winning, more more than anything. It's it's so much easier when there's not loads of other enemies though. I can't see her at all times. It makes it so much harder. Ah, oh, that's so fucking annoying. That was so bad. Ugh. I'm better off just dying when I die this early on. But neho, it's I guess it's practice, isn't it? It's really annoying how when you're blocking and then if you yeah it makes sense but it's really annoying that when you're blocking if you like heal or you just like do something like it yeah you still you you get hit if you're healing it's all right we got this Very quick. Fucking dodge the wrong way. So annoying. How are- what are you supposed to do there? <gasps> what the fuck was that? No, I fucking dodged! Oh, it's, how do you know when she's going to do these things? Ugh. Nah, just kill me. Just let me die. Just let me die. Oh no, I'm sorry, Atreus. <laughs> I don't think... Am I supposed to be able to get better armor for this? I don't think so. I think I just need to... And it's very doable. Such a quick attack. <sighs> Whore.
She doesn't do that every time though, so how do I... I couldn't even see the red just then. How? But she doesn't do that every time. I swear she doesn't. Does she? She doesn't see? She literally... How do you know which time she's gonna fucking do it? I feel like I can probably manage without better armor, but I was just wondering if I'm maybe supposed to have it? I don't know. I should I I was ready to dodge there <gasps> No I thought I had dodged that as well it's the annoying part No, you motherfucker! No, 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 no. I was like, I was like, how? I was like less than half of a little one of those bars. Did I have the summon? I thought I, I, I'd used the summon so recently. I didn't think I would have it, but. Fucking bitch. I just I'm holding buttons when I do it <clears throat> I do it too often where I'm accidentally like holding the wrong buttons and it makes me do the wrong move
Was that not the that one? I thought she was doing that one. Let's go, let's go. I fucking pressed circle for some reason just there. Wait, had I already used my fucking... But we're getting closer and closer. We're gonna be fine. We've only been at this like 20 minutes. We'll be fine, guys. These are not that difficult at all. They just take like a, a few, a few goes. Easy peasy. They're fun though. I'm having fun with them. Fucking whore. I could not even see a red marker just there. Okay, well this is off to a fucking great start. Good, 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 good start, good start. I don't even know, I didn't even fucking want to use that. That, that, oh, okay, yeah. Wonderful. I agree, Atreus. No, I don't, okay, yeah, no, I guess I was too close, it was, it was my own fault. What's the point? Because I'm gonna get so close to winning and then it's gonna be all for naught. I think the key with that one is to just get really near her when she ca- How could I have known? I couldn't have even seen the red! I couldn't- I, how could I have known? How could I have known? How could I have known? That's not fair. That- how is that fair? That is unfair. That is like you have to get damage. What the fuck? What is I, uh, James needs to walk the dog because he's being a dickhead. James, you need to, you need to walk the dog. But you kind of need to do it because he's gonna keep acting like that. Like, can you take care of him because I'm trying to stream? Roll whenever blind. But I think those disc ones, I might be wrong, but I feel like they track you. I might be wrong though. Maybe maybe I can just roll away from them also. But I feel like every time I've tried, it doesn't work. So if you can get straight to her when she lands, you can land a combo. Oh yeah, I could have tried it there. Oh, I, I couldn't even see how I couldn't even see that coming. That was so unfair. I've learned something new from my last one. <gasps> That's so unfair. No. No, no, no. She got straight out of that fucking summon just when I was trying to fucking use my fucking attack. That's such a fucking bitch. Fucking cunt. Oh man, I'm fucking done for.
There's no health. There's no health. I'm done. <gasps> Atreus! No, you can't dodge this. See, I, see, I definitely dodged. I'm done now. I definitely dodged that. But I'm pre I'm confident that that was a good dodge. But I think they kind of track you. She's like a dancer, actually. Poor. Yeah, I just dodged those there by accident, but again, I think I think you have to block those. You have your arrows, yeah, I've been using my arrows and I also use my summon. Why are you doing this to yourself? <laughs> because I'm uh, uh because it's a fun challenge. It is fun. I'm having fun with it. Oh, I just did the Oh soda, why I do that? I have my summon again. Fair enough. I think there must be a noise that gets made that makes it clear that she's doing that attack and not a different one. Oh, she's so annoying. I don't know why I knew she was going to do that, but I just did. Uh. Hey Matt, how are you doing? Uh. Fuck you, bitch. Oh my god, I couldn't even fuck. It's so hard to even see her sometimes. How do you know when the summon is ready? Ah, oh, fucking dodge those again. I've lost all my fucking health. The diamond symbol next to the arrows. Be terrible lately. Is what it is. Trying to get through. Oh, I hope it goes goes into the past quickly. I hope good things happen to you soon, Mac. I'm sorry to hear it. Not the rock throw for your rage. I can unlock it. I think. Um, I just don't think I have. Where will it be again? Oh, fuck. Oh boy, oh boy, oh 
Oh boy. Oh, Pedro. Oh, thank you. That was so sweet. Thank you, Pedro, for the gifted sub. I appreciate that. I'm sure Mike appreciate that too. Thanks so much, dude. Thank you. Ugh. Um, how do I do it? I just press, I hold R2 to do that and then L2 to pick up and hurl a large boulder. Okay, we'll try that. I'm sure that's gonna solve all your problems, Mac. As as a sub often does. <laughs> nah, that was really thoughtful, Pedro. Thank you, dude. Ooh, you actually can dodge that if you just dodge it really well. Oh, cunt. So much health around as well, it's like... Uh. That's pretty cool. I tried to dodge that too. I fucking tried to dodge that too. Oh! Won't you throw us one big ring, you dog? Wouldn't I know! I know that! I do know that. I actually know that. Thank you. I, I don't know why you were saying that. Maybe you saw me do it wrong because I made a mistake, but I do know that. Uh, let's go with a few hours or your axe throw to stop the attack entirely. Oh, interesting. Maybe I, when she does smoke, I'll try and throw an axe at her then. I didn't know you could knock her down. Um, I haven't been trying that. I'll try shoot her when she goes into the air. Alright, let's do this, Atreus. Ah. What the fuck happened there? What the fuck? What the fuck? Why is she not? What the fuck? What? None of my buttons just worked. Li I was pressing all of the right things. I just didn't I didn't even dodge that properly even though I pressed the buttons like a, what the fuck? I fucking even dodged it, man. And it wasn't enough. It will never be enough. 
Arrow in her head. Oh, you have to dodge the. What the fuck is happening? Why does that keep happening? I've literally never seen that happen before. God, I'm fucking gonna kill myself. No, you can't make the what? You can't make the world and the, the the no. You what? No, no. You just you just have to you just press it and then it uses it up. I think. I'll try, but I don't think so. No, yeah, yeah. You just use it once. Idiot. Not dodge that, are you kidding? I was literally sprinting. Yeah, everything is fully upgraded, yeah. It, that's just how long it lasts. Oh my god. Good run. I don't know why I'm continuing. <sighs> I've gotten like really close to winning twice. I got like really close to winning on like my third or fourth try. Yes, Delusion Master, welcome in. Yes, we're doing Valkyrie fight. It's not even fucking. Ugh. It's not even that difficult, that's the most annoying part, but it's just kind of like, meh. Locking that you bastard. Oh! <laughs> 
did that use it all up? I even had a fucking feeling she was going to do that. The rock takes big chunks out. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. I did know, I did kind of connect the dots, but yeah. Man, all the Valkyrie fights are so much fun in this game. Yeah, they're definitely more interesting than like the troll fights. I feel like these are the kind of things you should have been facing when you're getting the trolls. Maybe they thought that would be too hard. I don't know, like maybe like an easier version, but like the idea of this where it's like more challenging and more of an attack pattern rather than... I mean, the trolls have attack patterns, but they're all the same and they're all very basic. Oh, I fucked up the beginning of that. Go me. <sighs> nice, 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 nice. Let's just um, fucking stop here. I keep forgetting to, to shoot. Oh my god, I just want to die now. I just want to try again. There's no point. I fucking dodge that every time. Are you meant to dodge back or to the right? How are you meant to dodge that one when she, when she, in, how do you know she's going to do it as well? There has to be a way that you can tell. This is so fucked. I just, just, yeah, just kill me. I need to start again. This is so bad. Just kill me. Goodbye. They did say they ran out of time and budget to make variations. Is that what they said? Oh, that's so sad. Oh, my hand is like starting to hurt. Dang. Prepare yourself. She's not knocking out of the sky now. Oh my god, that actually was worse than not healing at all. Ugh. This getting really frustrating. This one is is a decent but harder than the other ones. There she goes down. Oh, fuck me, man. No, I've been using the axe for this one because she's like an, um, a fiery kind of person, I think. I, I I find it really hard switching between the weapons because I, I get muddled up and then I end up without a weapon. <laughs> but I should probably try using so that I can use the runic attacks at least. Actually, let me start by using the runic attack. Prepare yourself.
See, I'm fucking struggling now to switch between the two, so now I'm fucking dying. Why is he using that? I did not fucking ask him to. Throwing the axe more useful. Throw any text straight away. Then use dodge. Try and I'm 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 gonna try switching more, but I just I get fucking muddled between switching because it's not just like you go left to right. Like it's like you get fucking stuck and then I find it really hard. It just stresses me out. I, I think I just need to f I think I just don't understand how it works, like how the game is programmed to make it work, but I think left is unequip and equip these, and then when you do right, it's these. It just confused me. Because if you do- no, but if you go left to right, if you then go left again, like obviously it puts them away, and I think that just like gets confusing in my head. Have you- James, did you walk the dog? Alright, let's start with the blades. Oh, that fucking did some damage, though. Holy shit. Hang on, if I just do this, I might be pretty close to just getting her. I feel like that was almost a cheese if this works. Which, I mean, even if it doesn't, I feel like this is a technique that can work. And now you just kind of put some of what you know into practice. Yeah, using Atreus doesn't work. Fuck! Using Atreus to shoot her down doesn't work as well. I have to use the, the, the axe more. But I don't like throwing the axe. Oh, and that's wasted. Love that. Love when that happens. I feel like these are doing less damage. Is that just me? <gasps> Bitch! Alright. That was
was very cheesy. You can press. Oh, that's a good point. You can auto equip the axe, right? Let's uh, let's let's do cheesy cheese again. Let's do the cheese again. Fucking knew she was gonna do that. I have everything in the skill tree unlocked here. time I try to heal it's just so hard to heal in this game it really is a very difficult thing to be able to heal in this game How did that not do anything? Oh, I'm finding I'm finding it hard to even remember to sh throw her out of the sky. Ah, oh, I fucking fucked that one up. It's not most of the time, it's not even worth healing because there's no opportunities. Like, there's no fucking opportunity to heal. Dodge that!
Uh, I have like a, I have a laptop. New PC? I have a new PC. Oh, I told you that. Probably jump to a high level of Valkyrie. I did them all in difficulty order. No, no, I actually haven't. I don't think. I'm following, I'm following this guide. So the order I've done is Gunner. Then I've done Kara this stream. And now I'm doing Geardriffel. I feel like this is the right order. Is it not? <sighs> birthday? <laughs> My birthday? My birthday is January. I don't know. I don't know why you... you you, you you thought I had a new PC, not me. I I don't know what to tell you. I do not. I have a laptop, the same one I've had a while now. Hi, Kyle. I fucking ran out of time to do anything there. Bitch. Is this really a, a more difficult one? Oh fuck me man. This one is this one is significantly harder than the others, I think. I don't understand. It's it's surely it's so are you but you're saying they fuck you over with their guns, so what what order would you have done them in, guys? Gunner, Kara. I would agree that Gunner and Kara were probably a lot easier than this. So that feels like I probably did those in the right order. You don't think this one, Geardrifle, would be the the right one to do next? Who would you do next? I dodge. I don't know why I Kidding me, you fucking whore. Ugh. 
You know what? I kind of do think the heavy runic one is 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 doing me a disservice. I kind of agree with that. Found this one really easy, but it was different. I found other ones harder. Yeah, I definitely don't find this one easy. I didn't even know you could do that. Do I don't know what you mean. Um Let's yeah, let's swap out the second one. Let's go back to, to this one. I liked that one. This was the second highest in damage, so Thanks for the good luck. Okay, that was a lot more effective, I think. Rich tea! Rich tea biscuits. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, 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 welcome. That was epic! Look at me go, guys! Eh! <laughs> bitch. No! This bitch sucks, bro. Yes! No, I didn't mean to dodge. I apologize for dodging. Yeah, get her! Let's fucking get her, bitches. Let's fucking get her. Come on, come on. I even have the fucking health thing still. Let's get her without the health thing, though. Let's literally flex. Let's fucking flex. Come on. Come on, Kratos. Atreus, do your thing. Ah. Nah! I was so ready to not only win, but win without the cheat. What a shame. I don't know why I didn't have my axe there. That was weird. <gasps> I couldn't even see her! It's <laughs> oh. alright. We're gonna do it without the cheat anyway. Clearly that's what's in store for us. I'm fucking the over- Oh, there was no overconfidence. There was no overconfidence. It was not one hit. It was more than one hit. I've gotten down to that level about four times now. I'm fucking sick of it, man. I'm fucking sick of it! This has happened to me so many times in my life. I'm sure it's happened to all of you too. Where like you get to the the, the boss down so just like a couple of hits and then just something stupid gets you. Well, why'd that take so long? I love this one. This one's way better. You know what? Someone put me on the other move. I don't remember exactly who it was. But I no longer trust that person. That person is dead to me. Yes! Look at these skills. Look at me go, kids. Oh yeah, fuck, yeah. No, you fucking don't, you cunt.
Let me go! I've got this! I'm a fucking legend! Come on. Yes! Yes! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh, I shouldn't have done that just then. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No! Atreus, you little legend. <laughs> Fucking punched her! I final hit was a punch! I punched her to death! Ooh! <laughs> I whipped her wings off. I whipped her wings off. What the fuck? <laughs> This one is louder than the last. <laughs> Lady, please tell us. Why were you in this physical form? Why fight us? I do not know. The soul of a Valkyrie cannot remain pure in a physical body. We belong in the spirit She is world, kind of loud. Is she's go. She's got a personality. She's... Goodbye! Goodbye! That was good. That was fun. I can't believe Kratos whipped. I keep saying I the, like I said whipped its wings off, but I I'm now saying it without meaning to. Whip ripped its wing ripped its ripped its wings off ripped its wings off ripped its wings off. There we go. I know many things. Said, Sigrun, the queen of the Valkyries, she would have that power. The last time I saw her, she was before you herself. She came to visit me long after I'd been imprisoned by Odin. Why? Well, we had history, I guess you could say. Like, it. Ah, oh, lad, you're making me blush. I think. Thanks for the Can clip, I still blush? Joe. First, we hunt these creatures, ah. and now we chase your former lover. You do not need this distraction. It's more than a distraction, Father. These are Valkyries. They're the ones who keep the dead from overrunning Midgard. Then they are terrible at their job. It's not their fault, brother. Someone changed them, kept them from their duty. The queen? Can't say for sure, lad. We should ask more of them. If, of course, you don't mind that distraction. What are you doing, Sora? Just doing a little chunk. Right, nothing else around. My rage is very low. Uh, let's, yeah, let's get one of these. Uh, Oh, it's not very good apparently. But it's got a moderate perk. Can I upgrade it or something? Can it be upgraded? But it, but I like it. What am I losing? I'm losing five runic, but I'm gaining some strength and some cooldown. I'm gonna have it. So I would gain 8 luck but lose 10 defense, gain 5 runic. I'm gonna keep that one as is. And then what about this one? I lose 3 strength and 7 defense for luck. Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. You can't upgrade those, can you? Actually, I don't think you can. Nice, man. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Very nice. All right, so the next one on my list is air, which is a hidden chamber near the mountain. So it'll be on here as well. Air, 
and we can travel to this mystic gateway. Oh, why did that, th th why did that? I didn't mean to make it disappear. All right, yeah, we'll trap, oh. <laughs> we'll make it, um, we'll make ourselves travel over there. We'll have a few goes at this one. We probably won't get it done if it's any harder than, if it's even, that one took us, well, we might get it, yeah, we might get it done if it was, if it's around that kind of difficulty the, of this one that we just did. Um, but we might not if it is, um, if it's much harder because that one took us like 45 minutes, I think, in or around. Maybe, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, actually. And Odin's just arrogant enough to think he can get the best of it. Fate is another lie told by the gods. I like that they're repeating things because I sometimes need to hear stuff a few times to take it in. You and the old father may just agree. Even if he can't prevent Ragnarok, he still hopes to learn enough details to influence the outcome. Remind me later to tell you about the wolves. The wolves? Wouldn't the wolves... Aren't the wolves Loki's children? Or something? Is that what he's referring to? Um, but also, I know that the... Um... They are repeating stuff. Yeah, they, they are repeating stuff now. Cause it's, I think it's because it's post-game. They never repeat stuff normally. They've only started repeating stuff now in this in this playthrough. They fucking are! Because I've heard this before and I'm telling you. I'm t I'm telling you. No, James. No, James. I've played through the game. They have repeated this. They are repeating this because I'm in the end of the game. They're repeating it. They've repeated two things already. They repeated this bit about Odin wanting to influence the outcome. And remind me to tell you about the wolf. I'm telling you they have said that before. I swear you could go back on my stream to, to the ending of the game yesterday and you would find him saying that. And there was something else that he said. No, I'm telling you, man. Because Are you saying this is the first time they say that? Because I I am almost certain that I heard it in, in my stream, not from the video. I'm so sure. I'm, I'm literally so sure. Oh my god, this is so far away. Oh god. Um, have I gone the longer way? Have I gone like an actual longer way? I'm actually starting to consider. Have I gone like a really fucking stupid way? Mm, but it would have been at the ending of the- like it would have been- I would have- it would have saved the thing- that's the thing. Is- I feel like they said it when I was traveling between realms in- during the end game. And when you travel between well- Fuck me. When you travel between realms, um, it surely saves either end. Like, before you go in and before you go out. So, like, I don't know why it would believe that. You only hear that after beating three Valkyries? Are you serious? That's wild. I am... Oh, fucking hell. Oh, my... Oh. Right. Really? But I'm so sure that I remember him saying, I feel, I'm so sure it, I, I, but I'm so sure. I'm, I'm so sure that it, I bet I'm being gaslighted. I actually, gaslit, sorry. I actually want to go back through my own streams right now. I actually want to go back through. Because I, I, like, need to be... I need the proof now. That was a mistake. That was a different... Then in that case, in that case, when in the game does he say that? Right? When would they say that? When... Okay, it may be in the video. But when would they say that, James, in the game? Are you saying they only... You are then saying that that is dialogue you can only get by playing the game after you've already finished the game. Because you... I, I feel that that was said... And I feel like I might have partly talked over it a bit. Because I was going to say, um, I was just going to make a point of saying, it's really hard in in literally any game not to talk over certain bits. And I hate it and I know that it's annoying. And it's annoying for me because I obviously want to absorb everything as best I can. Um, but when you're doing a stream, I, when I'm watching a stream, I don't like watching a streamer just sit there silently playing a game. I'm like, oh, this is boring. I feel like it's a bad stream. So obviously I want to talk. And I want to talk anyway. 
not just to make it a good stream, but just because I want to talk. I want to talk to the chat, I want to talk about things I want to talk about, blah, 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 blah. And I, um, and I want to just, like, discuss things, and sometimes, yeah, that's going to overlap a dialogue. And I try to stop talking, but obviously it's going to happen that I'm finishing a sentence while they're starting a sentence, and it's really hard to avoid that. Um, but it, it does mean, whenever I stream a game, it, I do end up missing little, little bits of dialogue, and it makes it a little harder to absorb all of the information, sadly. Uh, it's the reality. Reach a point where they don't say anything anymore in the realm travel room or realm between realms. Alright, maybe I'm wrong then. If that's the case, if they really, really don't, maybe. Maybe maybe it's just from the video. I just was like, I re it just they, there was something else as well that was like so familiar that I was sure it was said in the game and I remember playing the game when they said it. But maybe I really am just confused with the, um, with the video. Hi little guy. stuff and both stuff is different as well some stuff may overlap yeah i know that i've definitely noticed that, that they reserve certain things for the boat certain things for traversing certain things for um for certain things for um yeah the realm travel and stuff definitely i've noticed that all right we're gonna at least give this one a go we'll see how we get on Haha, -ha, here we are. Do do do. Hello, my feather boy. I did little feather boy. He's going to be on stream. Ah, sorry. There he is. He a little dog. There's his snout. What a good snout. <laughs> a little snout. Look at this little snout. <laughs> Hello, baby. He's looking up at me. Like, this is my view. I've just got this view of little dog. <laughs> Maybe can be in two different pieces of lore. Plenty of them about Oda and Friendly Ragnarok and stuff. It was, yeah, it must have been the video. If anything, I think it's the video because it's that phrase Mimir said. Um, I can't even remember the phrase now, but it was a specific phrase that Mimir said that I recognized. Oh, shit, that's the wrong thing that I just clicked. Oh my god, that's also the wrong thing that I just clicked. <laughs> yeah, it must be the video then that I've got it confused with and I've just, like, completely convinced myself that I myself was playing the game <laughs> and not watching a clip, which is really funny. It felt so real! It felt so real, you don't even know! Is there like a... Oh, guys, there should really be a nice... A nice rage rock thing about. That would be really nice right now. I have full health. At this point, I still don't think there's anything new I can get. In terms of um, equipment or gear or whatever. Sigil of Defiance. Alright, there is nothing hidden here. Sadly. I think I missed whatever was up there in one of the other Valkyrie tombs, so that's a shame. Please stop trying to get under the couch. I don't know why he's doing that. It's another Valkyrie. Are we doing this? On my action. All right. I don't know which one to. Ooh, this is a small. This is like a little battle arena. Like it's very small. Uh, what do you not like the throwing out? You've never heard anyone say that with this game. What? Oh, why do I not like throwing the axe? 
Oh, no, I do. I just, um, I find it, I find it hard to aim and throw something when I'm in a boss fight like these. Because I feel like it's um, a very pressure-filled moment and I'm not great under pressure with aim. Um, that's why. But I, I do like it. Like, I like that it's a, a thing and I do love throwing the axe and everything. I just am not great at it. Yeah, I gotta practice. Sora, what are you up to, you chaotic little man? Right, okay, so let's uh, let's do the same thing we did before. I didn't even get him. Oh. Oh. Interesting. How did that still get me, dude? I'm a lower level. I, are you saying that I need to, uh... How? What the fuck? Ah! Yeah, I think Sora wants food. Yeah, 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 I... Stop giving me advice when I already know the answer because then it makes me feel like feel like I'm not I didn't figure it out myself when I did I knew I knew that I needed to do that I just didn't get an uh, um an, an an opportunity you know I just didn't get the opportunity to do what it, what it is that I was going to do Oh I she she's a lower level than Kurt I thought you meant this is Gertful and she isn't me and you're like oh god she's a lower level than the thing she's fighting uh, okay, that's good. So she's gonna be easier. Um, I mean, the Valkyrie you're fighting is lower level. Uh, nice. So that means this one, basically, if you're confused, it just means this one is easier than the last one. Hey, chicken, you just buy your awesome food. Alright, let's give it another go. Oh, I fucking... Yeah, I think I... How? How do you... What do you... Okay, that I will take advice for. I, I really am not sure what to do there. It just knocks out my fucking health every time. What are you supposed to do? Fully dodge to the left. Just get behind her.
Was I not behind her? You just need to be really far away from her, I think. Was that the attack that I just avoided there? Oh, wait, wrong attack. You're trying to shoot her. Okay. Okay, I'll give that a go. So, there's no way to dodge it? Just throw the axe? Okay, I'm gonna try both, I guess. Oh, nice. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Terrace can shoot her down. What do you do there then? Do you just dodge really far away from that one? dodge really far away okay that's really hard to do though because sometimes if she's in the middle i think it's got quite a big area of effect Cheesy chappers, welcome back. Thank you so much for raiding. Ah! ah! Oh fuck, it was that one. I'm so sorry. Welcome everyone. I'm fighting Valkyries in fuck. Not in fuck, in God of War. Um, I finished uh, a replay in preparation for Ragnarok if anyone else is. Oh wait, no, 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 Atreus. If anyone else is hyped, I am also. Um, and we're, uh, we're getting ready to do a playthrough of Ragnarok when that comes out, which is gonna be great. Um, no, I am trying so hard. Um, but thank you so much for raiding. Welcome, everyone. I hope you're having a great evening. I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. He's just... I'm doing my best. Oh. Hello. Welcome, everyone. Hi there, Corey. Hello. Um... Don't, don't move back her attack is so reach you roll into the water. It must be a different attack you're talking about. Uh, James is not streaming Ragnarok, no. I'm pretty sure he intends to make a video on it maybe, so that might be why. Or I think he just doesn't stream those games, but um, I am. So, you know, there you go. <laughs> uh, but what were you up to today, Cheesy Chappers? I hope you had a good stream. Um, I'll do the shout out thing. I know you've raided before, so I appreciate you coming back over. Um, Resident Evil Village. Oh, that's a great game. I really like that. And I'm not much of a, a scary game kind of person. 
I get scared very easily. How are you getting on with it? Is it your first time playing? No! It's okay, it's fine. It's fine, I'm being dramatic. It's fine, it worked out in the end. No, wait, no. I'm so far away! How can- Oh, that's the one Atreus needs to get her out of the sky. I just need to get- Look, I've only just started this boss fight. I, um... It's like my third go. So, we're still pretty, pretty fresh on it. I'm trying to get so far away. I'm trying. Oh, I think that well. Got so close yet so far. To getting it right, not to winning, clearly. Not even close, honestly. No. Roll to the right. At, at the big, at the big, when she like runs to me to do that attack. No, 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 that's not the right. Fuck me. <laughs> I do feel like this one is gonna be easier than the last one though. Why on earth did fucking you- It's the third time I've dropped this fucking bottle- ah! That's the third time I dropped this bottle cap this stream. Um, why did Eurogamer tell me to do the other one first? I have words to say to Eurogamer! Bottle is conspiring against you. <laughs> it it has some feelings about me apparently. And also welcome, Oliver. Nice to meet you. No! No, wait. No, I think I've done wait. No, it's alright. It's alright. Give it everything you've got. Uh Twist Oliver, thank you for following. Glad you decided to follow. Thank you. Why are you on these stupid ones? Oh, she didn't even reach me there. I was ready to perfectly parry that and everything. What a dumb bitch. Oh. Unexpected. Oh, I didn't do a proper combo there, but that's okay. No. <gasps> oh, I did it, boys. I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. Go on me. I think she's having a bad day. Okay, I just need to dodge to the right when she does mean one. I like this one. This one's quite interesting. This one, I feel like the other ones are quite similar, but this one's quite interesting. I'm really sorry. I don't. Never mind. I'm gonna fuck up anyway. Uh, put point put 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 I'm so I I'm thank you for following. I appreciate it a lot. I'm really happy to have you here. No! Oh, well, it worked out in my face. Oh. Poi Razor, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't read it properly. Thank you so much for following. <laughs> I failed. I failed. I have failed. I have failed multiple times today. 
Thank you, Atreus. Love you forever, Atreus. Oh. Well, I guess that's just life. That was so close. Ah! I did have the thing, the right thing equipped. How annoying is that? That was so dumb. That was so dumb. We're doing okay though. We're we're learning a lot, I think, which is always good. No! <gasps> I am shocked by how we are not dying. I love parrying! Every good parry is a good day. Oh, how do you- No, dude, you're so dumb. You're so dumb. No, it's so dumb. So dumb! She just went- <laughs> she fucking got me by opening her wings. What a power move. There we go. Good start. Good start. No, bad start. I, for some reason, I kept clicking the L1 way too far apart when I was trying to shield, shield break. Okay, forward and to the right. Uh, it didn't work very well. I don't. Um, I I am re I am still not doing great with that one. To be honest, it's not it for me. I don't know why that went so wrong. That that uh, was an easy, just simple block there. I don't know why I fucked that up. Um, I'm really not vibing with that attack. You know, if there's one thing about this, it's it's really that one. It's really that one, you know? Like, I, I think I'm more so getting lucky at avoiding them, if anything. Oh, bitch. These things happen. I don't think we're going to do this one tonight, honestly. Only because I don't want to stay up super late. But we could give it another 20 minutes. I feel like... 20 minutes. Like, I feel like that could be doable. I might play a Soulsborne game, but it's not it's not a definite, you know. Oh, this has been like wonderful this little opening here look how much fun I'm having Ugh, there goes the fun
I'm trying. It's that one attack. I feel like the rest of the battle isn't too bad. Like, I feel like it depends on where you are. I think a dodge to the right is not necessarily the best course of action. I'm going to try and take a more like... Depending on the situation approach. And I'm going to try and just dodge wherever there is the most open space. I think. See, I feel like it worked there because I dodged into the open space. Why does it feel like that is doing nothing? No! I should have dodged in another direction. Yeah, it was bad timed. I know. Eh, annoying. nice and far away yeah you don't actually need to be that far away it's not ridiculous it's actually not that bad of an attack now that i'm kind of getting used to it let's just get nice and far away not that bad honestly Do you know what it's not Oh, bitch! I was trying to use my, uh, specially rune attack. Oh well. It's okay if you don't use your rune attack. But I hear the chat scream at me every time there is one waiting to be used. But I think I'm getting better. Just in general at using all of the things that are available. Oh, but I haven't- I- I- whenever I- I remember- one thing I kind of hyper focus on it, so like I hyper focus on using the runes, but then I kind of forget about the rage, and then I hyper focus on using the rage, and I forget about the runes, or like when I hyper focus on using like a trace of summon, I forget about the runes, like all this shit. But I always forget about his fucking summon. I always forget that. I also feel like holding square is really inconvenient. Is that just me? I feel like it really takes me out of the battle, and I am likely to get hurt. I don't know if I should be using the ice axe actually. Oh, I fucking missed that one. Damn it. Not enough space to move into there. That was a tough one to dodge. No, every time you dot you cancel that attack, it makes her um it makes her do the other one, so I should just get into like open open air. So like now I should be here. And now I can just like dodge away. That's like a oh. I had a really good technique until I forgot about the follow-up attack. <laughs> it was really smart until I forgot about the follow-up attack. That one you have to dodge. I've been dodging it just out of instinct, but I didn't realize you have to dodge it. Okay, well, that's good to know. If we can do this, like, in the next turn or two, that would be really good. And I feel like it's not that. I feel like we could do it. You know, I feel like we could potentially do it. Oh, 
too soon. Oh, I thought I... That one doesn't come up red, which is kind of strange. Shit, I, I thought... I did that too early, I know. Yeah, I know. Too close. have to fucking oh i still have this That's the saddest death fucking phrase. Why does Atreus have to say that? You must head off. Oh, well, thank you so much. It was nice to meet you, Oliver. The dog is glaring at me. Chris, you hope to see more. Oh, well, I hope to see you again. I appreciate that so much. I am playing more of the Valkyries tomorrow, so hopefully I'll catch you then. Um, have a great night. I hope you and your dog sleep well. Take care. Um, all right, Atreus. This time, Atreus, what I want you to do is use these fucking arrows, you prick. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna keep switching- oh fuck. No, you fucking bitch! was far enough away. Fuck off. Oh, <gasps> fuck you. You're kind of doing okay, you know? It's a 
fucking worst attack. I hate it. has done this. Yeah. I literally had got two stones and it wiped me the fuck out. It's not fair. That is, it's, it's just one attack and it wipes you out and it, ugh, it's very difficult. I don't know which does more damage to me, honestly. I think this does. Man. 
See you later, Delicia Master. Have a good one. Oh, did I have a stone and I missed to use it? Fuck. So annoying. Ugh. I probably won't go a lot longer because I am very tired. Um, I might end up just doing this one tomorrow. But we'll we'll just give it a couple a couple more goes. We'll see if we can do it, but I don't want to stay up too late and I do feel tired and a bit headachey, you know, as as one does. That one get me. Oh, bitch. I'm thinking like one more go, which I'm probably not gonna do it to be honest. I probably need a few more goes, but. Looks like we're doing this. I'm fighting with these now, I just am. No, I fucking...
Ruhe. It's Kratos is using his fucking summon. I the one time I used his fucking summon, I needed him to fucking shoot her. If I could just get my fucking rage. One more, one more, one more. Pain, sadness. Oh, you whore! Fucking cunt. Yeah. 
lucky. I've got these down more. You need to lead her when you know she's going to do that into the middle because then you can dodge anywhere away from her in your space. See, now if I stay in the middle. Oh, this is different. Oh, I dodged. I did that too early, but it's fine. But if you lead her into the middle, then you are pretty much good to dodge anywhere. Like that. Ooh, almost fucked that up, actually. It's because I was trying to do a tutorial for some reason. Oh, what a shame. Fuck that one. Oh, and I fucked that one. heal even. What a sad moment. Fucking cunt. Should have parried that. So dumb. Valkyrie. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, boy. You have freed me. Who did this to you? I remember only that was really good. Pain. That was a very good run. And my queen. I did really good there. I almost didn't even need yes! this. Yes! <laughs> Thank you for the bits as well, Petra. <laughs> I must leave you now. <laughs> I must find her. No. Oh. I must remember. Whew. I didn't really get much damage there at all. Wasn't too bad at all. That was fun. That was good. Nice. Ending on a high. Is responsible head. Aye. When I saw her last, she was different, changed. And not just that she was in physical form, she was more volatile. She... I tried to talk to her about it, but she had just didn't say goodbye. I didn't think. I'm sorry, Maria. Aww. Not sure she wants to be found. I 
just don't understand why she would do this. It doesn't make a lick of sense. And if she is responsible, then we'll have to stop her. The Valkyries must be freed, and we are the only ones capable. We? Well... Executioner's Cleave. What is an Executioner's Cleave? What is Executioner's Cleave? Is that something that I have? It's an attack by Holdar too. And then if I do one of those, it might do lots of damage on the next hit. It's pretty good. Nice. Fab. Amazing. Okay, let's hit save. <gasps> so good that was fun well we've we've done a success for the most part so that's really good um i i think that's the fourth one so we have three more to do plus the queen so if the queen needs like her whole own thing then i do have time to do that so tomorrow hopefully we'll do i'll probably only end up doing like well if they each take an hour i can still do three tomorrow and then do the queen on a separate stream which will be like tuesday next week and if i need a another stream after that i can do it on wednesday because like i said i probably ideally i probably just won't stream on wednesday at all actually and then stream ragnarok on thursday um but if i do want to stream on wednesday i can just stream valkyrie again uh if i need more yeah but if they're longer i mean if they take an hour and a half i can do two on the next stream and then like i said i have like I have tomorrow's stream and then depending on how tomorrow's stream goes we have um we have all of we have the weekend if i feel i really need the time uh we have monday tuesday and wednesday of next week if i want to do all of those streams um uh, yeah i'm gonna do more valkyries tomorrow uh same time so i'll see you all then if you want to be here for that Definitely didn't miss out on four hours of the streams. Thanks, Hamid. Wow. I appreciate you being so supportive. Um, hope you all have a good rest of your week. And we'll see some of you tomorrow, potentially. Um, please check the light runic. I already did. You should have been looking. Um, See you anyway guys i will see you same time tomorrow to do more valkyries tomorrow we are doing it is rota i think and ulrun probably and then hopefully potentially gondol and then we'll do the queen if we can on the stream after uh but you know can be spread around if you've been everything to. you've got freeze dried snot wonderful thank you so much for following welcome um hopefully i'll see you tomorrow <laughs> take care everyone have a great evening bye wait wait camera point at sora there you go all right bye guys bye freeze tried take care everyone bye see you tomorrow